hello friends so in this video i am going to tell you more about the metadata command so in previous video we have discussed the commands related to the file manipulation in folder another so this video we are going to discuss the remaining command so i have my metadata session ready in the kali machine and the vector machine is the windows so let's first check the network configuration so it has three network configurations three networks first is loopback interface this is 127.0.1 another is 192.168.1.4 lan 1 and another is lan connection 2 ethernet connection 2 192.1056.102 so uh, if you type the ip config command you will also get the same result okay if you want to check the arc cache you can type the arc and check the arc cache if you type and if you type the net state then you get the result of the network sockets to which the connection the computer has been connected so you can see the computer established the following connection and these are our metropolitan sessions see I have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight connections established with it. So that's how you can see. So if you want to execute any command on the remote computer, you can type E X E C U P execute. Type F and then the command name. So you can see the CMD command is created two, three, four, four. Let's let's check the command has been created. Type P S and then list all the processes. So our process is. 2344 let's check 2344 2344 cmd.exe you can see we created let's check in the remote computer you can see that cmd created now you can see that 192.16.104 and 192.16.56.10 the IP configuration is correct so Let's get some of the basic information related to the computer. Sysinfo type sysinfo and get some of the basic information. Uh, metal better as x86 room 32 logged in user 2 domain as is home languages English US architecture x86 and this is OS operating system so Windows service pack 1 and name of the computer is XP so SP1. So if you want to Shut down the computer, you can basically type the normal shutdown. If you want to reboot, then type reboot. Okay. We will not type this command here. <laughs> the metaphor session will be gone. So if you want to check the idle time of the computer, then you can type idle time. Idle time is basically time um, the amount of gap the time in which the computer has been touched or it hasn't done anything else is just open with no users heading on it if the user heading then he is not doing any work on it let's we go and like we have opened the command prompt and check the idle time it's one second so we can see the difference of the idle time so if you want to um, in, uh, if you want like something to be like keylogger I have a tool called keylogger which capture all the keystrokes we can also do something like through this method type key scan start to start the keylogging sniffer keystroke sniffer basically so if you type something here like I have type ps it's not working like type ls it's also not working so we have type ps and ls okay let's type the ping command of 192.168.1 so you can see it has received the so now we will dump the command is key scan dump and we show the captured stroke ps return ls then ping then return then control z to close the left control plus c to close the command point so through this you can also do capture uh, keystroke capture and through this you can capture the passwords of the user when he's typing the password 
in true key scan stop command we can stop the keystroke sniffer if you want a screenshot you can also get a screenshot on the remote computer like this type screenshot and you have, we have got a screenshot at root WSP starting is WSP so let's go to root uh, WSP is WSP so you can see we have got the screenshot of the remote computer let's get back to the metal button. so we have we can also dump the hash of the remote computer so these are the hash of the remote computer so with various tool we can also crack password of the remote computer through this hash dump hash also so let's check what are the commands we have left so these are the webcam command mm, i cannot show you them because i don't have any webcam currently on my victim computer so you can uh, if you want to get a list of the webcam you can type webcam list and then through the through the webcam list you got the webcam one two or maybe more than two maybe how many of them are available you can like uh, webcam list so no webcam found if there were some webcam present then there will be one webcam here in the name of the webcam then you can do webcam snap from the webcam stream or you can even start a video chat with the user sitting on the remote computer you will feel like a cack hacker like shown in the movies now you can also do ui ctl control some the user interface component ok let's do ui ctl check the help ui ctl disable d i s a b l e all if you want to disable the keyboard and mouse it is d i s o the command is incorrect now it has disabled both keyboard and mouse so you can see my even my keyboard is not working and even my pointer is not showing in the machine and when a pointer get out of the virtual machine then it's working correctly and now, now um, enable this e and a b and e so it has enabled all now we will see now you can see that our keyboard is working correctly or our, even our mouse is working correctly so through this you can also make the user face the for some of the good problems through this ui cdl command so if that's enough ok one more main command left that is shell oh sorry shell through the shell command you get a command prompt like shell here so you can see we have got a command prompt you can do ls or oh, not ls ls is in linux you can do dir so you can get a list of all files you can do cd so you have moved in the back so move one directory back let's do it again and let's do it one more time and then now we are in c directory I have forgotten all the commands because it work more with Linux. So you can see all these help available and then do all the work through these commands. Type ps. ps is not a command. I thought ps should be some command. You can also type like ip config and you will get the ip configuration like we have got the some time before. So, like this, now type con control C, terminate, and press Y. So, that's all for this video. Thank you. If you have any query or any problem, then please comment below. I will try to fulfill all your queries. So, thank you. Have a nice day.